set the stage early in the book that everything you think you know about what causes a hangover is wrong. Uh -huh. The thing they told you. I need a little wrong. of that. I need to know from. It's really, it's really disappointing, actually. You just drink a lot of water, right? It's not all dehydration. You do get dehydrated, it's but wrong. you get, you get. You can be, you get rehydrated, and you still have a hangover, and That's your electrolytes right. are back to normal, and you're still hungover. So what's the, what's the secret? Everyone wants to know. I think I think it's anti-inflammatories, but the problem is really? that then you get all of the side effects of anti-inflammatories. So like if you're taking ibuprofen, then yeah. you get GI problems. If you're taking, oh. I like taking that. Tylenol, you get liver problems. So like. Mm -hmm. Don't like drink that. so much. The, Don't the drink only so way to win is not to play. But there, right. there, I, I do think that I, I think there is something to a couple of ibuprofen and maybe a Pepsi. Mm. I'm not a doctor, so do not mm. follow mm -hmm. my advice. And what do you think about Elon Musk? Uh, well, here's this uh, iconoclast coming out of nowhere, developing the Tesla, developing PayPal, developing uh, SpaceX. Mm -hmm. he's, he's had grand slams so far. Yeah. yeah. And he's a former physicist. And um, he just goes to show you what entrepreneurs can do. They can really shake things up. This could be a new era. Uh, and that era is in three to four years. Uh, we will have our own uh, launch vehicle. We're not going to be at the mercy of the Russians, and we're going to we're going to have cheap access to outer space. What is the benefit to going to space? Well, the short-term benefit is, of course, the unmanned space program, with the satellites, communication, the internet, uh, probes to the solar system, and so on and so forth. Right. But the long-term implications are: some people think that we should be a two-planet species. The dinosaurs had no space program. Mm -hmm. And that's why they're not here. Meaning <laughs> that... <laughs> yeah, what do you mean? <laughs> uh, if the dinosaurs had a space program, they'd, they'd still be here. And uh, we have a chance to develop a space program, so we don't have to go the way the dinosaurs. In other words... Um, why would the dinosaurs still be here? I don't get that. Why would they be here? Because... Because they can leave the Earth. Oh. Because uh, an asteroid hit the Earth 65 million years ago. It was too cold to be on the planet Earth. And they, so, if they had gone to space, they could then come back when the Earth got warmer. So we're going to learn, basically. You're going to space to learn. Well, ultimately, a new home. A new home in space. Because it's a law of physics that we're going to have to leave the Earth sooner or later. We have no choice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sun will eat up the Earth in five billion years. We'll have another ice age, me meteor, asteroid impacts. Mm -hmm. There's no particular rush. But we should become <laughs> a two-planet species.